Hi, it's Chris Watkin here, and today I'm joined with Simon Taylor, who runs his own estate agency in North and East London. Uh, welcome today, Simon, and thank you for joining me. Thanks for having me. Simon, I know you recently set up your own agency, uh, and setting up your own agency is really hard work. And a couple of weeks ago, you saw um, a post about the charity for estate agents, Agents Together, and you applied to have some mentoring. Um, what I'd like to, to do is just talk about why you set up your agency and why you felt that you needed, needed some help and what help you got from it and you know, ultimately what it cost, did or didn't cost you. So let's kick off to start with is, if you don't, let's go back before that you contacted the charity. Why did you set up your own estate agency? Okay, uh, well, uh, uh, the reason why I got into the state agency, I suppose, is, is the most prevalent reason. And um, it started as work experience a, a long, 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 long time ago, many moons ago. And um, I loved it from, you know, from, from the viewings to the valuations to the um, oh, just handling the inquiries to the negotiation of offers, etc., etc. Why I'm sure every agent loves agency and why agency grabs them and doesn't, want, doesn't let go. Um, I was a territory owner at Purple Bricks and uh, I built the team up from a, from a, from a one-man band to a team of 11 and eventually you get bogged down in the bureaucracy and the human resources and all the admin and complaint handling and etc, etc, etc. And those, should we say, are not the reasons why one goes into a state agency. And I'd been having thoughts of leaving for some time and initially had discussions with Adam Day at EXP last August and uh, with recent changes at Purple Bricks at the beginning of the year my, my tenure had, had run out of steam and it, it wasn't it wasn't the right fit for me anymore and that that reignited my passion and desire to to get back into the basics of a state agency roll my sleeves up get back on the shop floor and 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 and, and get on with it with the with the task that I enjoy best um, and that was, so I left Purple Bricks circa three weeks or so before lockdown um, and utilised lockdown to build my brand, get my website off the ground, start some gentle marketing, um, reaching out to some people that, that have known me and followed me over the years um, to, to come on board with me for when the time is right. So in actual fact, lockdown came at a, at a good moment for me because it enabled me time to get cracking on, on bits um, that needed to be done get my infrastructure in place so that when lockdown lift, lifted, I was, I was raring to go. With regards to the mentoring, <laughs> it, it, it's funny because it was perhaps, you know, I was, the horse had already bolted in terms of, I was already set up, I'd already left, I'd already had my website up and running, but I'm a big believer in, in every day is a school day and I don't know it all. And although I've been in agency 20 odd years, uh, there's so much, I'll, I'll rewind actually so circa six years ago when I left the high street I thought I was a good agent who yeah I know this I know that I know about this I know about that and then um you know my, my tenure at Purple Bricks made me realize crikey I've, I've probably never been as good an agent now than I was I, I'm a much better agent now than I was when I when I first joined the company simply because it's just been so we say thrown into the deep end and you sink or swim and you learn and in actual fact even from being off during uh, lockdown you know just a lot of your videos that I've had time to watch uh, some mentoring stuff that I've seen online um, personal development stuff from the likes of Zig Ziglar and Brand Buffini just a lot of I've had a lot of time to absorb and I actually feel now that I'm probably in the, in the best shape than I have been for some time from an agency perspective but and then when I saw agents together, I'm thinking, well, you know, these are good guys. These are heavy hitters. These are heavyweights in the industry. There's got to be stuff that I can perhaps learn or they can help light bulbs go off in my brain. Or Simon, have you tried this or you tried that? It's got to be worthwhile. Um, so, I, yeah, I want, I want to, I'm always keen to soak up as much as I possibly can. So um, you, you opted for a speedy mentoring. There's two types of mentoring. There's the speedy mentoring, which is like a one-off, and then you've got the longer term. You went for the speedy mentoring. Um, who did you get matched up with? Uh, Benjamin Grain, uh, a, a savvy switched-on agent and mentor um, with multiple branches in, in the Midlands. Um, a, a, a lovely chap, and, and I recommended to anybody. We, we arranged to, to, to speak on Zoom, just as you and I have done. 
and um, I talked through how I was getting on and what was working, what was maybe not working, what letter writing was working, what words were working. Um, and he helped me try and see things from a customer perspective as well, how are they going to perceive how you have approached that or how are they going to perceive how you've done that? So he's, it's, it was clever because he's not really, should we say, spoon fed me. Um, you need to do this, you need to do that. He's helped me, should we say, see the light myself in some respects uh, by asking probing questions um, where I've had sort of aha moments where, you know, oh, right, that's, that's, that's good, that's worthwhile. And I'm being honest, um, when I got off the phone, you know, you, you, everybody knows that feeling you get when you've got ideas whirling in your head that you want to action straight away. Like, all oh, right, I got that, got that, got, got to. So he, you know, that that really set me up for for the for the following few days with some eureka moments that I that I you know desperately wanted to implement. Okay, um, are you planning to? Um, is this just a one-off mentoring, or are you planning to to hopefully go back and have more of the longer term mentoring with someone? Uh, hundred percent. Without a shadow of a doubt, I don't want this to be a one-off. Um, and it, 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 I, I recommend to anybody, it's a bit like, do you, you don't go to the gym once to get bigger muscles and get fit. you got to keep going. And uh, to quote a, a, a guy who I've got a lot of respect for online who's passed away now, but Zig Ziglar with quotes, you know, it's like what, bathing, you, you can't just bathe once, you've got to do it every day or every other day to, to, to keep going. So I, I, I 100% will be wanting to do this. Listen, if it was a, if it was a weekly option, I'd take somebody up on a weekly option. If it's a monthly option, I'd take up on a monthly option. I, yeah. I think it's a, it's a really worthwhile infrastructure that can be built here. Well, for, for your benefit and also um, other people watching, um, for those of you that need just a quick one-off hit, we have the speedy mentoring. And then we have, for those that are looking for more longer term commitment, we have the long term um, mentoring and a definitely, you know, um, for anyone watching it, apply through the website. But when you do actually end up speaking with Sam Offley, who's our relationships manager at the charity, you must tell them whether you're looking for a quick one off or you're looking for a longer term. And we have some fantastic uh, mentors in Agents Together. They're big hitters in the industry. Um, how much did the, the mentoring cost you, Simon? Uh, absolutely diddly squat, nothing, nada, free, on the house. Um, and, and you know something? I, it's, something I, it's something that I would, if there was a subscription or... Uh, the, uh, but if there was, I would, I, I, would have, I, would have, I would have paid. I would have paid for it. And, Simon, um, Simon, there's yeah. no money to pay even for the long-term stuff. This is basically people from the industry giving back to you guys who are, you know, a, a generation or half a generation behind who, were, and it's our job to help them, help you guys, because people helped us when we, when we were, um, you know, on our earlier journeys, you know, setting up your own business. Yeah, you're a great estate agent, but there's a difference between being a great estate agent and a great estate agent in business. And by learning from these people, you know, this, this is priceless stuff isn't it? A hundred percent. And I suppose I, with, with Benjamin, I discussed some, some marketing ideas, some lead gen ideas, but I suppose, it, you know, with, with the mentors on board, it covers a wide spectrum, which might be, you know, how to structure your day and um, how to cope with working from home to um, getting more done to networking, marketing, it, it covers a whole plethora of subjects. I think the magic thing is, is, have a word with Sam Offley because you've already you're already in the, the agents together system. Anyone else apply, and then when Sam talks to you, tell them what exactly what you're looking for, whether you're looking for short term or long term. I guarantee you, there's no cost to this. It's our way of giving back to the industry. Uh, Simon, I want to thank you for your time today. I wish you well on your journey. Thank you for having me, thank um, you, Christopher. And, and you know, th there's no there's no shame in help asking for help. In fact, I think it takes balls to ask for help. So. I'm really proud of you, and I'll see you in three years' time when you're when you're uh, the king of Chingford, uh, um, getting all those for sale. Right, I'll, 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 I'll book a seat on the sofa for that day. Thank you, Christopher. Thank you for your time today. Thank you. Thanks. Bye bye. Bye bye.